welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Grace, if you do not know. Make for sure you are subscribed if you not are already. Today's video is going to be my second back to school video. It is back to school foods. Lunches, breakfast. I know we all need a lot of help with that, so that's what I'm here for. I've tried to think of some different things that you don't normally think of. So, let's get on into the video. Our first recipe is a breakfast recipe. They're beautiful, delicious egg muffins. So we're gonna preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Then you're gonna take some sliced ham and stick it in a lightly greased pan. I found out that two slices of ham worked a lot better than one. It's just sturdier and holds up the egg better. Then I'm gonna take some scrambled egg. I found out that just around five to six eggs is enough to make about eight muffins and then I decided I was just going to make plain muffins without the ham and throw in some sharp cheddar cheese just so I can kind of have a variety. So then I covered the sharp cheddar cheese back up with some scrambled egg. Then I also took some eggs and did them sunny side up into the ham. I just thought oh, that way I'll have a variety and I'll have something that I can choose from in the mornings. So I lightly salt and peppered those, threw in some sharp cheddar cheese also on top of those because cheddar cheese is delicious. So this is what they look like before they are baked. Then you're going to stick them in the oven for about 15 minutes just until the eggs are completely cooked and the ham is kind of crispy on the outside. These are delicious. I think they're absolutely amazing and a really different idea. You could also make these the night before so that way in the morning you don't have so much work to do. So how many of us struggle with warm water by the time it's lunchtime? I know the feeling. So what I really suggest, even though it's kind of on the more expensive side, is to get a Yeti cup and put ice and water in it. It literally lasts hours. It's perfect for keeping drinks cold. <laughs> So this lunch is definitely different. You never sort of think about just boiling you some eggs the night before. So that's what, exactly what we're doing. We're boiling eggs the night before, and then once it finally starts bubbling, you want to set a timer for around 12 minutes. And then once the timer is up, you want to make for sure you turn off your burner first, just so you don't hurt your hands. And then um, you want to take your pot of eggs off of the stove, and then we're just going to give them a little ice bath so they're a lot easier to touch, so that way they cool down. So I left them in there for about 30 seconds. Then I'm just going to take a paper towel and dry them off so that way they're easier to put in your container for lunch. I'm just going to add some Special K blueberry crisps, which are delicious, and some sliced cheese along with some delicious fresh blueberries. I honestly don't think this lunch took too much effort and it's delicious and very filling and it made me happy. So try you some boiled eggs, blueberries, sliced cheese, Easter crisps, muffins, or even a brownie. It's delicious, so try it out. <laughs> I did this one a lot when I was back in public school and a lot of people don't think of this one like soups or ramen in a thermos so I just made my ramen how the package said to make it because I'm too lazy to figure out how to make it on my own <laughs> so I'm just gonna add this to my thermos which is just gonna keep your soup or your ramen whatever you're gonna make nice and warm and good all day so since the ramen is pretty filling itself I just added some crackers on the side and these cute little containers and I'm making my own little trail mix with almonds granola and just some chocolate you could obviously just buy a trail mix and put it in your bag but I decided this was more fun. This lunch was really delicious, very filling, so something different every once in a while. This makes you happier and makes for a better lunch. So say you're out of bread or whatever or you just don't want the calories of bread, use just some ham slices and cheese, roll them up because that's a lot more fun than just eating ham and then cheese. Then take yourself some pretzels, which goldfish are just more fun. So I'm just going to add some pretzels and some cubed cheese. Pretzels and cubed cheese is a really go-to snack for me. And then some fresh veggies or fruit. 
I really like cucumbers, so I just added this into the little container. So for the, any of these lunches, I really, really suggest you guys getting an ice pack and putting that in your lunch bag because I don't want you guys getting food poisoning or the food just being really gross by the time it's lunch. So I really suggest getting an ice pack and just keeping it in there to keep all of your food fresh, your chocolate so it doesn't melt. I really suggest that. These are definitely delicious and different lunches, so if you try them out, let me know. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make for sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you're enjoying my back to school series. I really enjoyed doing this video, so I hope you guys did too. <laughs> See you guys in the next back to school video. Bye.